these lumps. All of the ROMs for this are correct. All of the ROMs. Wait, that's the dashboard. That's not right. We want console so we can see what's going on there. There we go. Did I mute the sounds because I was playing something terrible again? Yeah, I probably did. Oops. Oops. Oh, yeah, I gotta do that real quick.
colored. It's amazing how quickly I forget some of this stuff. So wasn't I just doing this? Don't I? Shouldn't I remember this? Get fucked. <laughs> I thought it was such a badass there for about two seconds. Oh, it didn't work, man. It didn't work at all. I tried. I tried to trick it. Triple pie kick. Yes! Huge. That feels good. So satisfying. Oh, nothing there. Oh well. <coughs> nice. That's satisfying too. I wonder if the snap does actually have smaller hitboxes. I feel like their mouths have been shortened just like a pixel or two. Like you tighten that up so it's a little bit cleaner. Take the points, go. Let's go! I've never gotten the umbrellas here on this level, I think, so... <laughs> but at least I got something out of it. Nice! Cruising along a little faster now. Or wait, is this the same level? I think this is the same difficulty. Never mind. Whoa. What? What? I disagree. can jump straight up and down on this one without falling off the ledge of things. Because he moves over like a dumbass. Oh yeah. Double that right up, please. Yeah, I'll take that. Damn, I'm trying to snip my 
my fingers. Yeah. Boom! Hoping for it. I can't believe it happened. Fairy tales do come true. Ah, I'm not gonna get both. He falls too fast there. Ah, he took away my crutch. My crutch vine that was there, though. That's the difference. But that's one difference. I haven't been paying attention to the respawn rates. There's three- oh yeah! Killing that red guy is actually kind of dangerous, I just realized that, yeah. You could cluster yourself just like you could on the original. <coughs> Get over there, you dirty monkey. I didn't even use the nanner. Last night we were saying it was, it was how hard it would be to not follow the nanner in. I just nanner freed. I just went nanner free completely. Like it was nothing. No, no! Kick the pie! Kick the pie! Kick the pie! You were supposed to kick the pie into the bird, you dummy! Kick the pie! Kick the pie! <laughs> we usually don't want to be pie kicking. That's funny. Pie kicking is usually a bad thing. I might have to umbrella here. Now, let's just get this guy out of the way here. Get ourselves into a safe spot so we can avoid the reds. Ride this out. Hey, he's not going to give me much of an opening here. But it's enough. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Umbrella! Nice! I was hoping it would triple. Triple the top row. I'm not sure if it could. But I've noticed that you can definitely hit enemies on the top row with that, and it's pretty fucking smart. There we go, that's what I meant to do last time. No! Jump onto the vine, shithead! Bad fucking junior. Bad junior. Bad monkey. Ah, shucks. To quote MK, shucks. Ah, shucks. <laughs> Cracks me up. Ah, two dollar. All right, fifty nine six hundred. Not bad. The bar has been set. Not very high, but it has been set, no less. We made it through one of, like, yeah, at least one of the levels that was giving me fits last night already. That's pretty good. It's a step in the right direction, at least. Missed them all. 
weren't supposed to grab that vine. Ooh, that's harder than it looks. Cause that is a very tricky spot to be in. I just realized what that kind of forces you into, and I don't like that. It's hard. <laughs> Oh my shit! I did that last night too. You forget how bad his jump is. Come on, Junior, get your fat arse up there. If you can't get the quick start, it definitely gets a lot harder really fast. I just missed and slowed down just enough. Screw it. Get me the hell out of here. Why is I confusing these levels? Why fuck stupid. I missed the first jump, I went for it on the second one even though I knew it was too late, and the results were predictable and disappointing. Don't fight science kids, it's usually a complete waste of time. got stuck between the two. That was weird. Okay. Odd one. Odd one. It 
What's up, Shane? Welcome back. We're trying this again. No, oh, why did I reset it? I had 59 something. All right. We know what the score to beat is, at least. <clears throat> We're going to keep getting better. Or will we? So far on this, yeah. On Remix, that is, yeah. My PB is 700 and change, I think, for the regular game. But I didn't really play that game for score, so that's a little different. I'm actually more proud of the speed at which I beat the game. <laughs> I think DK Jr. is way more fun as a speedrun than for points, because it's obviously not a very fun point game, if you ask me. Um, I don't know. I'm sure John and Nina probably have more, so... I don't think it's a new world record officially, unfortunately. I wish. <laughs> but we'll see one day. How fast did I beat the original? I don't know. We'd have to look at my video. It's on YouTube. Um, if you just YouTube, like, Donkey Kong Jr. kills Green. And or Chris Teeter. It comes up. It's not on my channel. It's on the Galloping Ghost one. Penis, penis butter, jelly. There we go. Come on, give me some point toss. Give me all of your point toss. I'll take that, I guess. I don't know. I st um, when I first went to the arcade, I started playing it a fair amount. I learned quite a bit. I was getting to, like, level 7 and 8 or so. Um, having a lot of trouble. Mostly with the springboard stage. Um, that was really the only one that was an issue for me. The other ones were pretty easy. It didn't take me long after I figured out how to do the springboard stage. That wasn't until a few years later. I kind of put it on the shelf for a little while. And came back to it. And I was like, oh yeah, I can do this game. Now that I, you know, yeah, I, right after I went to Fun Spot and met up some, with some of the guys and stuff. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, you can definitely pattern it somewhat and stuff. And yeah, just learn this. And it's like, oh, okay. And they're like, yeah, the springboard really is broken. It's not just you. You're not crazy, dude. That helped a lot, knowing that I wasn't just fucking crazy. But I got pretty good at escaping from when I have to freestyle on that level, too. Because I played it the hard way without a pattern. So that helped. When I needed it. Say just a few... A few months? Originally. But I kept playing it just like here and there. I'd always throw a coin in. Usually I'd just play out like my first life and see how far I could go on, on one life. And then, yeah, eventually I got good enough that I just said, fuck it, I'm going to sit down for probably a couple weeks. And I just said, okay, if I'm getting to level like 9, 10, I can play the game at its hardest level. Why the hell am I not just finishing it? So it just took a few weeks of going in and actually putting in the time because, you know, you spend half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour even on a game. There are a couple games that ended in the 20s, basically, or, like, within a few screens, even, in one case. But, yeah. It wasn't too bad. It was always one of the first game, or one of the games that was up when Galloping Ghost first opened, when they only had, you know, like, 70 up and running at any given point in time. 60, 70, this one was pretty much always fixed. And always still working, even though it was in a Mario Brothers wide body cabinet. He used to drive Fred Oaks insane. He, yeah, he would always comment on it. God damn it, I don't get it. Because there was a Donkey Kong cabinet sitting right next to it that had Mario Brothers in it. That had versus Mario Brothers. 
two player versus Mario Brothers and a single player Donkey Kong cabinet. And next to it was, of course, Donkey Kong Jr. in a Mario Brothers, or not versus Super Mario Brothers, just regular Mario Brothers, in a Mario Brothers wide body. So yeah, it was their backwards basically sitting right next to each other. Why do these, he kept going, why does he just switch them? I don't get it. <laughs> So yeah, that's how I just kind of started playing it, because I liked it when I was little. Yeah, on the NES, I liked playing it on there. So I decided to do it when I came, or when I uh, first saw the arcade up, and I said, yeah, I'm going to try to get good at this game, it looks like fun. I liked it when I was little. You know, nobody's really put up a high score here. I'll, I'll be the house high score holder in Donkey Kong Jr. I don't really like the original as much. Fuck that. I'll do that one later. So, you know, I've been doing the original here and there. I've streamed it a few times. Mostly I just, like, try to put in a quarter every arcade I go to that has it. You know, just put in a game, get a little practice in. Keep trying to learn from my mistakes. One day I'll actually feel more confident and go for it, but... I've made it to level 12 or so on that one. It's kind of the same way, I don't really... My high score is somewhere in like the 300-somethings. But I don't really give a shit, because I just want to finish it. More than anything. Shit. That was close. What? What? That? Oh! That did not look like that's what happened. That was interesting. I disagree, Doctor. I disagree. That, I fucked up. <laughs> First one, not so sure. That seemed like a rather short fall for Donkey Kong Jr. to die. Come to me! Be strong, Jr. I need to go back to... Not suck at this, come on. Pay attention, Jivey. Escape vine. That hurts. That hurts bad. He said, Why is it broken? What do you mean by why is it broken? Sorry. Did I say something was broken? <laughs> Springboard is actually kind of broken, actually, programmatically. It actually only works correctly when you're pr like it's. It says like, oh yeah, do it for good with good timing for you know super jump basically. But good timing actually is kind of fucky. It's like yeah, you should you should have like I think it's something like eight or ten frames where you should be in contact with the springboard, and if you press jump during one of those eight frames, basically. Um, he should get this the high jump instead of just flopping off to the side of it, um, which a lot of times kills you or gets you in a position where you're going to die. It only works every other frame. <laughs> so you have to furiously mash and hope to God that one of your clicks, because you can only squeeze in X amount during those few frames anyway, um, 
the sensor can only register so many no matter how fast you fucking press, basically. Exactly, yeah, you, that is actually arguably the best method. Um, yeah, after my first trip to Fun Spot, I signed up for the Donkey Kong forums, because that's one of the places they said, oh yeah, like here's some of the sites like Retro Pricing and Donkey Kong forums, and some of these other ones where people talk and gather and, you know, do games of the week and whatever else, right? And I was like, oh sweet, I've been thinking about doing this junior thing for a while, you know, I should probably just go ahead and get it done. I looked that up because that was the one thing that, that drove me insane was the springboard and going, well, if I can get that right, I can usually get out of it pretty quickly. Ugh. Oh, the thing that they taught me, or the thing that I learned from that, though, that ultimately saved my bacon, was the fact that only five birds can be on screen at a time. That's the most important piece, in my opinion. Oh, I split them! So once you learn that, once you learn how to count birds, it becomes so much easier to... to predict when you should make a break for the, um, at the top of the level, because I think that's one of the hardest parts. Oh, shit. Um. And in general, just learning when there's going to be a break for sure. So you use the sprite limit to your advantage, basically. Just like you would in Crazy Kong. Oh, how's that only 100? I'm starting to figure out where the hitboxes are on these. Oh, but it's tough. Keyboard is really useful. Yeah, that is that is really hard part. Um, I'd say look up that springboard thread on DKF. It's really really helpful. There is the the mainline pattern especially will help you get through it. I've had a couple people like Bara say that my video on YouTube, my kill screen video, actually helped them because I mostly play really safe strats. So like even if you can go out there and find some high press point press ones, it's easy to watch mine and learn some things about how to stay safe and just beat the fucking game because that's all I was trying to do. So <laughs> I don't know if that helps. Like if you watch Marquis or something, you're gonna have to watch a lot of point pressing or fast forward third or something. I do explain sometimes, but when you get there, exactly. When you get down your massive list of games, right? The never-ending list of games. Yeah. Oh, fuck you, game. I knew I was kind of shit tonight, but damn. I really want to get to the, um, the electricity ones. Yeah, I, I want to do DK eventually, but it's, yeah, like I said, it's just taking time. Committing to it mostly is the hard part. There's a switch coming in a day and what? Three days? Oh shit, it's 1045. I have to do my time report. Everybody, I have to stop before too long anyway. <laughs> Once you get there. Oh yeah, then 900k, okay. <laughs> Once you rule Australia. Once you take the crown, the OC crown. Which part of Australia are you in again? Run!
Storm's going on outside. Sounds fantastic out there. Oh, piss buckets. I might be a bit overconfident in my skills here. <laughs> eh, I definitely know I couldn't do that. Can't rush that that fast. Doesn't work. Never works. Purple guy always beats you. He always beats you. He always gets his man. Got him, Phil. Always have an escape vine. Always have an escape vine. Always have an exit strategy. Why are they not coming down this vine? This is crazy. Obstinate little fuckers. What over here, boys? I'll take you, I guess. Fuck it. I've dawdled around on this level long enough. I wasted like three lives, I think. ask you, what's good and what's bad about living in Queensland, what would you say? Besides, it's full of Australians. We already know that part. <laughs> Both for good and for bad. shorts in winter. That sounds decent. I love snow, but that certainly would cut on wardrobe costs. I was going to say, summers probably get awful then, which I do not deal well with. Get the jump bonus too. Oh, they're all going the wrong way. Ball jumping. Hmm, I was out of time anyway. 3,000, not bad. Oh, we get to do this level again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucking have to be kidding me. I do not like that at all. Oh, 
Well then. Well. Let's see what we got here. Drop, nice plop and drop. Nice, nice. We got space here. We got no blues. Oops. I wait for these guys, so. Nothing? There we go, that one worked out well. anywhere that didn't have snow. <laughs> I've definitely lived in places where it gets over 100 and humid as fuck, so I've definitely gotten to feel both ends to some extent, but probably not as bad as you have. I should say I've been way into the fucking negatives, I know that much. Or at least a good fucking chunk of it. Anything below negative 10 is pretty damn cold, usually. Certainly not the worst. Certainly nothing... <sighs> Fatal. Well... Not quickly. God damn it, stop giving me the wall. God damn it, I screwed up. Yeah, I was gonna say the Celsius to Fahrenheit there is a lot of fun. Sorry. Low 40s here? Holy f This fucking Christ. I was gonna say, once it's hit like 110 a couple times in my life here or when I was like visiting Arizona, I was, fuck this. Actually, Arizona wasn't that bad. It's actually muggier here, so it's actually worse in a lot of ways because the humidity sucks dicks. I know people say, well, it's not the heat, it's the humidity, but it fucking sucks. Oh yeah, Australia. <laughs> There's places in Australia that will fucking murder you. <laughs> and that's most of it. <laughs> it is a crazy ass continent. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. I hate being sweaty. <laughs> Uh, 
I think you'd die without a fucking air conditioner. I would. I'd take my own life, that's for sure. If I didn't have one, I mean. It'd break. The first time my fucking air conditioner broke down, you'd know because I'd be fucking dead. I'd kill myself. Fuck. Fuck it. It's not worth it. I can't deal with this shit. I can't wait 12 hours. That asshole won't be here soon enough. And every, uh, every minute that I'm sitting there waiting there past the time that he said he'd be there, I'm just going to get angrier and angrier and hotter and hotter. Ah! No. <laughs> Fuck that. Me and being that hot. No. Can't do it. That actually happened to us the hottest night of uh, when Spaceman was with us. Our air conditioner broke. Was not working the night that we were there. Or the first night in our first room, we were like, uh, yeah, this is awful. And they're like, yeah, we're so sorry. They gave us like our second night free or something, or discounted. They moved us to another room at the very least, but we were like, you just had the hottest night of the year here, and it's like 100 and... It was a heat wave for them, at least, for sure. And then you go... There are three of us in there dying. You sons of bitches. You sons of bitches. It's like you don't even care. I can't even care, man. Damn it, I gotta get them both. I gotta get it faster. I'm starting to get the hang up when I can hit those guys, though. Mm, let's see what we can do here. Tricky bitch. Hot is just not my, my thing. You can only take off so many clothes, at least in public. So, I can always deal with cold. I can put more on, I can bundle up, I can get under a blanket, I can... Lots of things. I can't just keep taking shit off. People start freaking out. It's not fair. Quite frankly. Get them! Get them! Get them! Get them! Get them! Yeah! Fucker. That sounds fun. I never mind that. That's true. I was gonna say that is always the fun thing. Is uh, we have like a you can tell when all of a sudden it's gotten nice all because uh, it's like a fucking parade. Ah like, oh, yes, we've broken out our the skimpiest thing here, all of our exciting clothing that we can wear again. We're like, oh yes, I can't wait to let these fucking things fly again. Oh, I don't blame you. I'm the same way. I can't wait to get out of anything stuffy or hot. It's, hell yeah. A lot of girls really like to shove it off when they have that kind of weather, I guess. Just like, all of a sudden, whoa, where'd all these people come from? Where'd all this skin come from? The whole absence makes the heart grow fonder thing, I guess, is what I'm getting at. It's really funny. Hooray! It's spring! The boobies are out again! The boobies are back! The boobies are back! Tell your neighbors! Tell your friends! Titties! Bathing suits! Cleavage! Huzzah! We missed you, friends! Plenty of sunscreen. It's funny. Nice. Oh, look at that up. 
Look at that umbrella go! Oh, and then he just walks into the water! What's he thinking? 12 smash, I think that's my new record. Twelve smash! Twelve smash! Here my tank is! Yeah, I'm not going for it yet. There we go. actually leathery. I was say, we get a lot of um, people around here who are orange with the fake tan. It's hilarious. It's like, no, no, I must look tannish all year round and stuff. This is my one goal in life, to have skin that is slightly darker than it normally would be otherwise from the, tan from the sun. They fry themselves in these beds all day long. Constantly. It's frightening. And it looks so unhealthy. Like, it's fucking orange. I know that they've been making fun of the uh, President Trump for having that orange, especially around his face, but my god. I definitely worked with a few girls. It's like, you own a tanning bed, or you, like, live right above one or something, don't you? Do you have a part time job at one, perhaps? Because it's. You're not fooling anyone. Solariums, what the? Follow your banana. Oh yeah, the spray tans are even worse. Well, it doesn't matter, it's all orange. It all looks just fucking stupid. It, it, it always screams, I'm trying way too hard, that's all there is to it. Like, You can think it makes you look better, but it kind of makes you look sad. I kind of, I mean, really, really fucking sad. <laughs> really shallow. Really pathetic and really desperate. Oh, I didn't kick the awesome pie. Oh, we got a new PB though, don't we? With several lives to go. But we're playing six life, so this is bullshit. This would actually be my... I assume this would be my last life, maybe. Shit! There goes that. That's so crazy. Uh, John said, like, he fixed, like, a hundred bugs in general in this game. And he's like, you probably don't want to, you know, hear all of them and how detailed they are and how stupid some of them are. And I was like, uh, actually, yeah, I totally do want to know all of them. <laughs> What's up, man? Welcome back, Wags. At it again. Did you catch Mike and Martin tonight? 
We were laughing because Mike's, uh, Mike's grin made us laugh. So funny. There's Goofy tonight. Martin dropped a few potty mouths. That made me laugh. game. What? There's a trap. You tricked me. Oh, that felt so satisfying. So satisfying. Oh. Oh, that felt good. Oh, yeah, he did eliminate spark leeching on so many ways, too. It would be very hard. Those, yeah, I was going to say, and they're way too tightly clustered. You can't jump between them. What's up, Dollar? This part's the really confusing one, because this is the only time I've ever seen the red guys go off of their chains. The red guys are off the chains, yo. The red snap jaws have finally found freedom. It is scary. Should I open here? No! Then you forget that you can't cross between those. Even though they're clearly different, and there's clearly a larger space there. It's very easy to forget. It's very easy. You're so used to doing that on these levels. It's a good twist on the nitpicker levels. one more life than I should have had, probably. If I've lost count, I don't know. I don't know if I get the bonus life when I said it's six lives or not. <laughs> so if this is a seven life game, then yeah. These guys can totally be steered. Why aren't they going where I want them to? one here, so you can take him out. That or run for it. He's gonna spawn a red. 
ready for it. Seven six. Hooray. Now what? Ooh, I've played this level before. Or have I? Whoa, those two are clustered right on top of each other. I know he fucked with the timing on these, but... Yeah, that's gonna result in some patterns that I haven't seen before on this. Safety zone's still the same. General strategy's probably still gonna be the same. Whoa, whoa, computer, don't choke on me. Give me 
three, give me three, give me three. <sighs> nice to have a comfortable, familiar level in the middle of all this. Nice to almost, almost free pass, you know? <laughs> like, oh yeah, this is fucking nothing. Just fucking level four bird, that's easy. We've done this many, many times. Oh, the way he uses the wall jump turn around there, that's hilarious. I'm still fury clicking. Because why not? <laughs> nice, 5,000. Awesome. Am I gonna misjudge that ledge? <laughs> I think that's the third time tonight alone that I've done it. I need to get some steering going here. Because I haven't been able to find anything wrong with it, and it plays 
He definitely cleaned it up. He said he put he, uh, he fixed over a hundred bugs in it, which is hilarious. You know, there were one or two that I noticed, and I said, "Oh my god, this is so much clear." Oh, you don't run into the stupid log when you're playing the vine level. He made a bunch of little fixes, but he said there were over a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> like, he fixed the springboards, for instance. So the springboard actually works. Fucking incredible. Oh, shit. <laughs> but yeah, this is his second one. And the first one went over real well, because... Especially the Donkey Kong community has gotten to the point of pretty much finishing what you can do with Donkey Kong. There's really not that much more. Speedrunning has not been done as much as it could be, but still you're talking about hour longs. Plus, well, I think they can do it under an hour. I think there's some interest there, but not a lot. I think this is really, really cool. Now, I think that depends partially, Shane, on his position on DK3. <laughs> How do you feel about DK3, John? Because uh, that would be a big factor, I would think, right? I should have a little shout-out command for this thing so that you can follow him on Twitter and keep, get updates on this, on the development of these things, because it's really cool. Uh, DK2, yeah. No, there was never a DK Junior 2, uh, as far as I know. D2K is, yeah, it was the same way, it was just a hack, in many ways. A hack, a rebuild, a run, you know. And they actually brought Donkey Kong Remix out to the Fun Spot tournament last year, um, so that we could play it. It was really fun, a Punch-Out Remix, that would be hilarious. I don't know how, I don't know why, but... Well... Yeah, I'm a nerd. I'll start actually thinking about it if you suggest it, even if you're just joking. <laughs> At what point in time do you just make it too gimmicky and stupid and not as much fun as punch, you know, just punching out? Then again. Then again. <laughs> If he can fix, if he can fix Junior, and he can fix all the glitches in this game and stuff, and all the fun little problems that it has, I'm confident he can make Congo Bongo enjoyable somehow, some way. I'm biased against Congo Bongo. Congo Bongo is really not that bad of a game, but I don't know. Isometric Donkey Kong just doesn't appeal to me for some reason. That was a nice big smashle. That felt good. Down here, guys. Down here. Ah, I got hit. I got got. Oh well. I love that he has bonus stages in it. It's so brilliant. Oh. Yay, video games. Oh shit, pickles, I forgot that. So yeah, we actually got to play Donkey Kong Remix in a tournament, which was really cool. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. He's talking about bringing this one out this year, too. Oh my god, that was not smart. This is, um, this level right here, the reason we're seeing it again, even though we see it at the beginning of it, is because this was, um, a test build, and he put this level at the beginning so that he could test something out. And it was supposed to be here in the rotation, but <laughs> I get to play it twice, basically, on this build. Which is kind of sweet. I would agree with that. That's exactly what I was thinking, kiddo, is you would make it more like the NES one. So you'd make it more balanced and a little less vicious. And a little less, as, like you said, too, it's smoothed out some ways. There are a lot of times that's the case. The uh, arcade version is the first, or at least in those days, was the first to market. In a lot of cases, they weren't the, um, the home version fixed things, or was at least slightly different. 
they definitely didn't fix the kill screen in this one. Or in uh, Junior, so. It was the same glitch, it just manifested itself slightly differently, but yeah, it was the same exact glitch. Still the same timer shit. That's the funny part. Oh man, what was John's description of one of the ones? Something like they put in... They put in three different things for the to try and make the springboard work. In the first two, actually just did nothing. And the second, and the third one is the one that makes it broken. Well, that was fucked up. I didn't know that my swing low, my swing animation would actually dip my hitbox that low. Interesting. This is full real estate. Gotta go all the way up into that score. You quickly learn how far Donkey Kong Jr. can fall from this. Quickly learn how far he can fall on this level. Thanks to this level. Kiddo, are you a big arcade player? Or at all? Just curious. I like to dabble. How far would I say Junior can fall? Well, I can throw him a long fucking way. <laughs> Depends how mad I am at him. <laughs> It's really about one body height, just about like uh, Donkey Kong is the same way with Mario, but it's a, I feel like it's a little bit higher. Then again, we've often said that the hitboxes and the sprites are a little misguiding, or misleading on this sometimes, so I think that may be part of it, but... Why did I just do that? Why did I just... Is around these parts, are you in Europe or Australia or something? Or wait, I was going to say, well. I usually find you in arcade somewhere. It depends, though. We had somebody come through one that was like, Tallahassee, Florida. Holy shit, we can't find like anything near there. Yeah, you never know. Some places you can, some places you can't. Sega Sonic Cosmo Fighter. That sounds familiar. The umbrellas! Go, umbrellas, go! <laughs> Sega Sonic. It sounds like a, co a combination between Sega Sonic the Hedgehog and Cosmo Fighter. And I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> or Cosmic Avenger is what, I, what I'm thinking of, not Cosmic Fighter. I'm thinking of the Universal game, I think that's who it was. Always an arcade around these parts. Don't you worry about that. Well, almost always. If you've never seen it, Orcade.com, A-U-R-Cade.com, does list a lot of them. It tries very hard to keep up with all of them as a database of them, but 
there are always more, at least in the U.S., a lot of barcades been opening and stuff, so there have been a lot of options lately. It's been pretty nice. Then again, some of those places really are barcades and not so much arcades, so that can be tough, depending. If you don't want to go and have a bunch of people pounding on top of you and stacked on top of each other listening to super loud music and paying $10 to drink, but... You know. Take with the good with the bad and eat the chicken of life. Or something. There you go. Hmm. How did I lose the Donkey Kong level? There it was. That's the Donkey Kong level. Go back to that. Go back a stage. It is a Sonic the Hedgehog thing? Oh, okay. What is it, uh, Sonic wise? Eat the chicken of. You're damn right, sire. Don't question it. It's very loud. Yeah, ex Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys just got that barcade, didn't you? You're down by Kibby, right? Down by Kibby. You hang out with Kibby, love it? I think that's the way you say it, right? <laughs> yeah, I, it's, I mean, I live close to an arcade arcade, and that's part of why they're like, we're never going to have booze. We're never going to do with that. We're not going to do that. We're not going to just deal with that environment and those things and all that, and I've always pretty much agreed with that because I've been to those places, but... Oh, yeah. Well, arcade sound balance is one thing. The balance between the different ones is, is one thing. That's right, you did beat him. I forgot about that. It is very brutal when you're sitting next to one game that's way louder, or when you can hear Mr. Do all the way across the fucking arcade. And every time somebody ends their life, since the default score is so low... I swear the high score music goes on for two minutes straight. The same, like, six second loop, or ten second loop at most, for <laughs> over and over. Going, oh my god. Just shut the fucking thing off. Just enter AAA. I've literally walked over. There's some of them where you literally walk over just to shut the fucking thing off. Like, don't put a coin in and then walk away, you son of a bitch. And they don't even have to put coins in. It's all on free play. It's free play. What the shit? <sighs> Yeah, that's how loud it was for a while. NYC's got a couple of them. Yeah, that is really, really annoying. We went to the one um, in Manhattan a couple of years ago, and that was the way it was. It is very yupster, and it is very like, hey, this is the post-work crowd and stuff, and they were actually like laughing at the two weirdos who were actually like, playing a game like, and talking and going playing for the same game for like an hour what the fuck is wrong with these guys why are they still playing donkey kong hey can we get a chance here yeah as soon as our credit's over you guys have been on it for like half an hour yeah as soon as our credit's over fuck off then you don't get mad at me fuck you wait your fucking turn asshole Damn kids. The one in um, Brooklyn, uh, Williamsburg, was much better, actually. In a lot of ways. I, and they actually had some really cool games. They had a ladybug. I was very excited about that. It was actually in decent condition, too. Love me some ladybug. Oh, come on, you turd nuggets. Alright, fine, I'll take one. Alright, I'll take one. I'll take one. If you guys don't want to be nice, fine, don't be nice. What was the other one we went to? Um, was it Rusted Quarter or Rusty Quarter or something like that? Or... <laughs> Bag for 12 bucks, there you go. <laughs> uh, 
we went to some place that was that had like a few pinball machines, like two MAME cabinets, or they weren't even MAME, they were 60 in ones. And then they had a bunch of, like, they had, you know, Mario Kart 64 on a big screen, blah, 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 or, like, play Call of Duty on a big screen. It was like, okay, so you're kind of catering to it, like, but they at least had some good pins. That wasn't too bad, but it was wall-to-wall, -wall and it was awful, and it was obnoxious, and it was a meat market and everything else that you could imagine, so that was brutal. It ain't beer prices. I love good beer, so I'm used to paying. I don't give a shit, really. If the beer's good, I'll pay it. I don't really care. That's not my issue with it. It's more just the fact that it's that crowded and everything else. You can't hear anything. You can't hear each other. You can't hear the games. <sighs> Shudder. <laughs> oh, it's appalling. <laughs> but yeah, $9 for beer can really suck. Depending. If it's a really good beer, I'm okay with paying $9. If it's $9 for a Bud Light, fuck you, eat a dick. That's sick. That is just wrong. Mm -hmm. Man, what is that place? It was in, like, Chinatown. It took us a long time to figure out where the fuck to get there. We got lost somewhere along the way. We had Today Is Forgotten with us, uh, Chris Clemente as well, and uh, Fruity Gay Spaghetti from Connecticut, he came down. Uh, he's a really good pinball player, especially. Uh, his real name's Chris Points. We had three Chris's that night. Because uh, <laughs> I'm also a Chris, so that was really confusing. It's three Chris's and one spaceman. And I, yeah, I think it was called, like, it, we definitely went into Chinatown, because there were a lot of signs that, and people looking at us like, what the fuck are you doing here? You guys are drunk and lost, clearly. And then we found it. No, it wasn't Chinatown Fair. I think it was called, like, Rusty Quarter or Rusty something. I remember a picture of the quarter on the glass. They had 40s on special that night. 40s of Coors Light or something. So, we got even more shit-faced really quickly, basically. It was dangerous, but it was a lot of fun, and they actually had, you know, good machines. They had Attack from Mars and all sorts of cool pins, too. Not all sorts, but three or four that were pretty nice, too. Was Oh, they had Theater of Magic. Any Famicom clones in Chinatown? <laughs> Surprisingly, I picked up four. Oh. So this is also about two years, two, well, less, in September 2015 is actually when we were on the road with him. He came over from, um, well, he lives in Barcelona now, but he's originally Irish. So we went out with him, my wife and I did. Just went on vacation anyway and took two weeks to go and play a bunch of arcades. Um, make a bunch of stops, do some USA style touring. Stop at cheese barns and such. Grand oh, wait, Grandpa's Cheese Barn. Grandpa. That was fantastic. A whole barn full of fucking cheeses and shit. Cheeses and meats. And that was before we even got to Wisconsin. It's before we get to the cheese castles. He loved that. Oh. Yeah, you love it. Please have a real chicken that would beat you at tic tac toe. <laughs> Just got that. Took me a second. I'm slow. I'm good at the smart game. Wait, what? Oh, get plopped. The upward birds here just blows my damn mind. <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah! Bonus points, bonus points. Give me a nice 
nice one. Yeah, there you go. Made it. Follow your nanner. Always follow your nanner. <laughs> this is a tricky turnaround there. Holy shit, he's going around the outside! I just realized there's a snapjaw going around the outside. That's mind bending a little bit. He's out he's out of bounds. He can't do that. Oh, the umbrella missed. The umbrella missed. So what happened is um, they left some of the sprites from Donkey Kong in the image map, uh, or whatever, on, um, uh, on Donkey Kong Jr. So the pie and the umbrella were basically reused, and I believe the, the light bulb was another one I think that was unused. So yeah, he found ways to use those in this game. <laughs> he found really good ways to use them, most, more importantly. Not bad. Oh, that's my highest yet. 6,000. All right. That feels good, man. That feels good. I just realized I've actually gone through a few levels without dying now. I'm starting to actually somewhat get the hang of this. I shouldn't have said that. I know I shouldn't have said that. This this glitch still works, though. This is hilarious. The fact that you still have to be on the right side of the vine when it's falling in order for it to hit a red guy on the vine below it. We tested that out last night, so that's still the same weird, the fruit falls one pixel to base, either direction based on which side of the vine or chain that you're on when you hit it. So it can fall slightly to the left or slightly to the right, basically. <laughs> of course it makes a ton of sense, as we all know. Oh, I got too greedy. Got too eager. It tricked me. Alright, let's get out of there. Get it back. Pull it together. Let's do this, Javi. Shit, I screwed that up. I don't think they ever get out of sync. I should stare at those for a minute. Oh yeah, they will come over here, I forgot. Never mind. Can't just hold still. This ain't that kind of Donkey Kong. There's no holding skill holding still in junior remix. It's madness. That was huge, by the way. That five smash. Always fun. I 
fact that these things can go upward is also mind blowing. How? How did I just survive that? And yes, please. Interesting. Interesting video game. Interesting choice. <clears throat> Not the choice I would have made, but interesting choice nonetheless. I respect you for it. But I also need you to understand that you're fucking wrong, video game. You're wrong. Okay? What he did is fucking wrong. I forgot what I was doing there for a second and decided to climb all the way up to the top without the keys. Definitely partying. Definitely the coolest way to party. That was awesome. Missed him completely. There we go. This will be easier. Okay, that one's my fault. Game, you're off the hook on that one. I'll take the blame this time. I realized what I did. I realized I was wrong. If you'll only take me back, I'll, I'm willing to give it another chance. I think we have what it takes. Can you give me just one more chance? Thank <laughs> you. 
up. Yeah, that's gonna feel good. Oh, come on. How did that not hit more guys? I want more guys. Bah! It's a lie. fucked up? Look, I fixed it. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's been a couple, you know, it's been 35 years, but still. What do you say we give this thing another go? I'd be game. I'd agree to it. I'd pay him a lot of money. Considering how litigious Nintendo is. <laughs> I think they know better than to go after the ROM hacking community in general. Like, they're really gonna win that fucking battle ever. And, like, that's really gonna win them any favors in that community, or our communities in general. Like, it's not smart. No, oh, I screwed it up. It's unofficial now. Okay, phew, now it's official. I was really worried there for a minute. I, yeah, I wanted to make sure that this thing counted. Otherwise, you know. <laughs> Holy crap. I can just keep playing and playing this game, too. That's a problem. But, if I don't do my time report, I get in deep shit, so. I'm going to wrap up the stream for the night. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. Um, I'll post the link to his Twitter again here in the chat so you guys can make sure you're following the DK Remix, everything about it. And, yeah, we'll see you next time. Have a good night.